What if you took one of the most iconic weapons from Team Fortress 2 and brought it to life? Not as a prop, but as a fully functional AI-powered nerf turret that can track and fire at enemies on its own. That's exactly what happened in one of the wildest builds of the year. This is the story of how a crazy engineer built a chain-fed, face-tracking minigun and why it might be the most dangerously over-engineered build. It all started with a curious and simple question. We all know how cool the sentry turret from Fortnite is, but can it be brought to life in the real world? The bar was set ridiculously high. This wouldn't just be a prop. Every part of the design would need to move, connect, and operate like the real thing. And making it work? That meant solving real engineering problems, mechanical structure, power delivery, electronics, and the hardest part of all, the brain behind the turret. But let's start from the first thing, the gun. To mimic the twin barrel minigun look, the first challenge was finding a Nerf-compatible blaster that could fire rapidly and be externally powered. The answer came in the form of an off-brand belt-fed Nerf minigun. Cheap, chain-fed, and surprisingly powerful. But there was a problem. The included dart chain only held about 40 rounds, and since it was off-brand, there were no extra links to buy. So the chain had to be recreated, link by link. Using calipers and a bit of computer wizardry, the team modeled each chain segment in a few hours, and not before long, a print-ready, modular chain link was born. Printed on a 3D printer, the new chain was not only fully functional, it was better, more durable. It had smoother feeding angles and fully print in place, meaning you could pop it off the plate and start blasting. Next came the body of the turret. Using in-game references from Fortnite, the team modeled the entire Level 2 Sentry in 3D, segmenting the parts for printability. The final design used 4.2 kilograms of plastic, 1.6 kilometers of filament, and featured custom 3D printed bolts engraved with the Fortnite logo. Almost everything, bolts, brackets, shells, was 3D printed. The only exceptions? two metal rods, and a couple of leveling feet. Even the ammo belt was reprinted using SLS nylon and fabric dyed for that perfect gritty finish. With all parts printed, it was time to assemble. The turret was put together with minimal tools, relying on custom fit parts and clean tolerances. A few parts were glued for strength, but the core stayed modular so it could be shipped safely. It wasn't just a replica, it was functional, solid, and shockingly faithful to the game. But what's a turret without automation? Enter the AI-powered brain. A face-tracking PTZ security camera mounted atop the turret could detect motion and lock on. When activated, the turret tracked targets and fired when movement was detected. A small custom PCB controlled everything, arming the system, detecting motion, and triggering the blasters. The same system had already proven itself in a previous drone project, and now it was scaled up to control twin miniguns. The system had two modes, auto-track and manual. In Autotrack, once it saw you, it shot. In Manual, a remote let you aim the turret and fire at will. The team tested both, carefully positioning the blaster to avoid accidental dart barrages, and despite a few rogue shots during setup, it worked flawlessly. Once the build was complete, it was time to share it with the team, and it was awesome. Hey, Mike and Jose, come, come see my new project. <laughs> they worked really well. <laughs> and if you love full auto shooting blasters, then Brick Arsenal's ones are for you. Not only they have realistic gun mechanics, shell ejaculation, and can also be customized with real gun attachments for the best immersive nerf experience, but you can also find them by clicking the link in my description. And just like that, it was real. What started as a half joke about building a video game turret turned into a 3D printed, AI powered, fully armed foam slinging monster. It tracked targets. It fired on motion, it even looked better than the in-game version. And the best part? It actually survived. But what do you build next? If you liked our video, please let us know in the comments and share with us your favorite part. Also, subscribe and leave a like, and as always, we'll wait you on our next Nerf video.